probably betrayal, uh, a couple of situations where a personal friend um, who I trusted, who I was very close to, um, there was deceit and just total betrayal that that happened there. One was more of a professional situation then one was more of a personal situation uh, but that was something that that wounded me deeply because I, I purposefully uh, want to live life in trusting people not being naive but choosing trust over suspicion uh, even though I mean I'm a realist about uh, the evil that is there uh, but just making that choice but when you have several years with someone getting to know them and then they stab you in the back yeah how were you able to move down that <laughs> in the first situation I'm not I'm not sure I did a very good job of moving beyond that. Um, and, and so some of that probably just happened because I didn't have interaction with them anymore. Um, and haven't for, you know, 25 years. Um, with the second one, um, I think that that's more where uh, through just personal time with God uh, he brought a peace of that he's in control and uh, there was I feel like I was able to forgive the individual see you know what maybe would have motivated him to do that even though I felt like it was wrong to have some sense of understanding um, yeah, but just probably more through personal reflection, looking at God's Word, because uh, others were, others wanted to feed my anger, actually. Uh, they, 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 didn't, they didn't want me to let go of it, release it, forgive it, so I felt like I was able to process through that one much better because at least looking at it in the face and and not ignoring it or just letting it drift off to the side I'm sorry I had to go through that it's never fun to have let you down